What's up guys, Dynamo here, and really quick before this video, really I start talking about what I'm trying to talk about today. I just want to tell you guys this is another one of those videos I recorded in theater mode because I tried many times to talk about what I'm talking about today, but I kept getting distracted by the game and I didn't have enough time. I didn't Every time I recorded it, I would not get enough of my discussion off. Why do I have that pickaxe out? Oh, there it is. So yeah, this uh, uh, the theater mode's a little bugged right now. I understand that it, it looks horrible. Uh, in fact, I kind of want to... What? Why does this happen? Draw and attach. What does this do? How do I zoom out? Alright, we're just going to do a uh, gameplay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, this was a video I recorded recently because uh, I recorded this. This was the same game as the uh, a video I uploaded already called New Changes in Stuff. Like, I talked about some of the new gun changes and all that. That 30-minute that video that no one else probably wanted to watch. <coughs> um, this was that 30-minute clip. And uh, anyway, as you just saw, I found the new rifle. This is the point of the video. That's why I use this clip. Uh, I tried to find the new rifle, and every time I would either not find it or the game would just glitch out and I would die or something stupid. But for the sake of this, I have to use this video because of the fact that I want to talk about what I'm talking about, and this is how we're going to do it. So... First of all, new rifle. It's in the game. It's so good, by the way. So good. And for those who don't know, it is the silenced assault rifle. Assault rifle. I said assault. Um, assault rifle, which is, for those who don't know, it is uh, a purple and gold, just like the Scar, except it has, look at that. Listen to that sound. Beautiful sound. Anyway, this gun is very similar to the Scar and the normal Scar in certain ways, but it's also very different to the Scar in certain ways. Right here, looking back at this clip, I should have built up to challenge him better. Oh, it's not showing how much damage I hit on him. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, I like to point that out. I kind of—I'm looking at the mini map to see where he went because I—he went hiding at one point. I kind of want to see if he ended up just running away, which by the looks of it, he did. Yeah, he ran off on the mini map. He's uh, heading to uh, the next building over. And there's a guy, this is, okay, the kid I killed is the, uh, olive-colored kid coming from the, uh, northwest area of me. And he just landed Chairtown. He's coming over to finish me, but he's slow, and I'm probably gonna get out of here before that happens. Anyway, the new gun has a couple major similarities to the Scar. One, it looks identical except for the giant silencer thing at the end. Um, and two, oh, he's on the mountain, that's why. I didn't see him. I'm looking where he is now. Oh, I didn't see him. He ran right past where I was looking. Are you kidding me? I could have gotten a kill of that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the new gun. Uh, compared to the old Scar, there are some major similarities and major differences. First of all, major similarities. Uh, it looks the same except for the silencer. And uh, the only other one is the fact that uh, there's another player coming from the south, uh, east side. Uh, south of the olive color, dude. And I still was looking for that guy. I'm retarded. Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, uh, this, by the way, this is kind of difficult to explain. I tried multiple times, and it is kind of, look at it. I did that just because I was recording, and I wanted to show you guys a new gun. You can go back and watch that video. I'll leave the description, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, but really, all I really wanted to talk about was, uh, look at that. It's not supported at all. Ran out of mats. And, uh, really what I wanted to talk about was, uh, the fact that <clears throat> this gun is very similar, of course, but it also has one major difference. And that is the Bloom. The gun that rewards Bloom. Which, for those who don't know, is a freaking godsend compared to the old Scar. This old Scar was really strong, and so is this one. The only problem is its bloom was off the charts just horrible. And then once that guy rifted away, he's flying away now. Yeah, he's gone. And he doesn't stay. He leaves for good. He's gone. All of, I end up killing this olive-colored olive guy. But, um... 
Yeah, that kid's gonna sit in there and he's gonna heal a little bit. He's on he's way back there for some reason. I, when I was playing this, I thought he was actually in the building, but he was not. <sighs> but really, the main <clears throat> sorry, uh, maybe than the main detail I wanted to pass off of this gun. When you aim down sight with a normal scar, the normal scar does uh, the bloom. When you full when you aim down sight at a scar, you still have first shot accuracy with both of these rifles. Yeah, first shot accuracy with both of them, uh, but that's not the difference. I'm talking about the main difference. Uh, the scar compared to the silenced. I'm just. Uh, by the way, I don't call it the silenced scar. I call it the silenced AR. So the silenced AR. Um, its bloom is a little less. It, uh, it's mainly really good at jumping and hip firing. Now, there's one thing that completely throws it off tempo, and at and that I just kind of passed out a little bit. That was weird. And that is the fact that uh, if you spray it, it suddenly goes to crap. That's kind of the punishment with this gun. This gun's used very differently than the SCAR. With the normal SCAR, hold on, can I pull up the map? I can. Yeah, the blue guy ran off to uh, Chair Town. Uh, but the, um, the the normal SCAR, you... there's I'm going to take all the headset, it's distracting me. <coughs> um, the normal scar you shoot at a wall I'm trying to explain this in ways I can I'm trying really hard to figure out the best way to explain it but uh, you are you're, you're in a fight right when you shoot full auto it is just as same as when you shoot semi auto but back to back so when you're like like this I'm full autoing sort of I'm not full auto like uh, I'm going to use the Xbox term which is triggers Cli clicks are the other ones like left click is the yellow one so, um, you left click to, uh, you left click, or unless you have something else, other way to shoot, but the average player is going to have left click to shoot, or right trigger to shoot on console. And when you do that, um, your gun is going to spray full auto, right? It's full auto, it's, you're not tapping it, you're, it's not a semi-gun at that point, it's a full auto just spray weapon. Oh yeah, look at this kid's panic right here. He realizes he's still in the zone. He just runs and freaks out. It's hilarious. By this point, I don't have any math left, by the way. And I don't think I have a shotgun. Oh, I do have a shotgun. We're good. We're good. I have to point that out. <coughs> but, um... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. But, um, by the way, the new gun I have, as you saw earlier, it was gold instead of just blue purple. Um, what else can I talk about? Um, I can talk about the fact that this gun, uh, the gun with the normal scar when you full auto spray is the exact same as if you semi auto spray, but if you semi auto spray at the same fire rate as a full auto, it's the same as full auto. So semi, if you just tap it at the same speed, a full auto gun would shoot. It does not, bloom does not matter. It doesn't matter if you're full auto, you might as well just full auto at that point. But when you're uh, semi tap like tapping it, when you're semi tapping it like one shot and then maybe another shot and like you know put time in between, uh, you give the gun a little bit of time to lessen the bloom because after one shot the bloom kind of widens and then it has to shrink back down. If you give it time to shrink back down, that is where it comes into play. That's where the bloom does. But if you spray it at the same speed it shoots, then the gun is going to uh, just keep the crosshairs are going to keep expanding, which literally is the exact same as full auto. Um, but in this department, in this little depiction, that is the normal scar. But the semi scar is a little different. If you are firing full auto, the key, they keep expanding and they just get horrible. The crosshairs get so bad. It's so, so, so awful. I don't even know why. Also, I don't know why I shot that guy. I, th I talked about it during the video. I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> I got hiccups. Uh, anyway, I like to point that out. He ran away because he's a loser. Um, <clears throat> the semi, I mean, I keep calling it semi. Uh, the, the sniper, this sniper, I, I keep calling it a sniper. What's wrong with me? The, um, the uh, silenced rifle, I forgot the word, sorry. The silenced assault rifle will not do that. You full auto spray, it's going to keep expanding and it's going to get really, really, really bad because the crosshairs are a little different, so it's going to get really, really bad. Like, you start shooting, it's really low, but by the end of your mag at full spray, that thing's crosshairs are like twice this, I don't know about twice, but they're pretty freaking huge. Also, that chest was not opened in the actual game. 
I like to point that out. They kind of this game was kind of bugged out for this game is kind of bugged for theater mode. So, um, what was I saying? The uh, the, the silenced rifle compared to the normal rifle. That was really laggy. Uh, the normal rifle will have, like, the normal scar will have. These are guns that have the exact same statistics, by the way. Everything is the same except for Bloom. And by the way, this is also a game that Silencer doesn't take off range. Silencer is on COD, like Call of Duty games, and even, I, I don't know, Battlefield does it too, maybe? I don't know. I know for a fact that COD games do it, but it takes off, like, two ticks or how many ever, however many of the game does. Black Ops 3, it was two. Two of those little boxes. It takes off two bits of your range it takes off a little bit of your range which isn't always bad it depends on what map you're using but that's also that can also be really really bad you know anyway by this point there are only 14 left oh man first circle's already oh no that's second circle my bad but um 14 left that's still really low <clears throat> um what was i saying at this point <sighs> um I'm trying to remember what I'm saying. I need to stop walking. I'm going to face the other direction. But the semi, uh, semi si uh, silenced rifle, uh, whenever you tap it at the same speed of its full auto, then it is small enough to where it shrinks back. So that is, you're able to tap it faster than you are the normal scar. That's the main difference. You're able to tap this thing pretty quick on average compared to the other, uh, the other scar. Which gives this one mainly an advantage. Honestly, in, this, in my opinion, this one is a murderer. Because this thing... At close range, by the way, might as well offer this up as info. This thing, close range, I've gotten kills where I beat double barrels and heavy shotguns with it. It's so nuts, okay? It's just not even real. Like, there, there will be a guy who challenges you with a double barrel. If he misses just a, even one of those shots that isn't a headshot, and you still have that thing and you're spraying, it doesn't matter how big the crosshairs are, you're still going to kill him. Just like to point that out, though. Oh, this guy let the gold mine know how I forgot. I upgraded nearly everything, and I also forgot to check that ammo over there. But I also just wanted to point that out. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, the silenced rifle, honestly, is one of the best guns in the game by now. I think, uh, along with the Tommy gun being removed as well, so that just makes it even better. But uh, on average, compared to most of the stuff, that's how it's going to be. A new gun that, like, like honestly, I like to point out as well. Just like the Famas, when the Famas came out, it was way overdue. Like that should have come out a long time ago. When the game just got created, Battle Royale came out. There was a green, a gray, green, blue rifle, and then there was a a gray, a gold, purple, and gold rifle. But there was no purple and gold burst. That should have happened a long time ago. I'm not saying it had to look like the Famas back then. I'm just saying that kind of gun should have been a thing back like a way ago. Yeah, I thought he was gonna keep running, so I lit the shot horribly. I lit him up. You'll hear the shots here. Just thump, 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 thump. Pretty nuts. Look at him down there, idiot. Um, anyway, by this point, by the way, if you're thinking I should shoot him down, I can't shoot him down because if I do that, I'm a retard. Because uh, if I do that, then that just... He's still attached to the wall, and that's not going to help me in any way. But i um, also like to point out that um, this uh, whenever they, uh, this gun, al along with that other one, is very overdue. This gun should have been a thing way long ago, like way too long ago. It's yeah. By the way, this gun's really easy to find. Ah, uh, I wish I had picked up that scar and demonstrated it. Demonstrated the changes in, like, what was happening. I wish I had demonstrated the uh, changes in the, uh, like, the bo the bloom on the scar and the normal scar. The the silenced rifle and the normal scar are both pretty good. Okay. Now I'm not saying that the normal scar is no longer going to get any attention. I'm just saying, for now. This gun is going to be the biggest one. The the biggest, the new, it's going to be the best rifle you can have. Like, for example, whenever I'm streaming or playing, you'll see what kind of, like, uh, what kind of, uh, out, like, outfits? What am I talking about? Uh, you'll see what kind of, like, like choices I make during the game. Like, if I find a purple FAMAS over a blue AR, I'm probably going to take it. I like FAMASs normally. Even though they uh, weren't very good a while ago, I still took them out mostly. Uh, they were very effective in most situations. Not most, but uh, in some of those closer range situations, they were pretty effective. Meaning I could use those for pretty much however I felt like doing it. But, um... <coughs> what did I just drop? Did I just drop... A... What did I drop? I don't know. That was weird. Um, but I'd like to point that out at one point. That was an accident. <laughs> but, um... 
Um, what else is left to say? Hmm. Well, there's a guy south of me, and I looked at him. I looked in that direction. He's in that little hut. Guy directly uh, north of me as well in the little hut. I think I killed him. A guy up on the mountain that I should have seen by now, that he should have seen me as well. I saw his build, but I registered that he wasn't there. Okay. See the brown, the brown guy's coming through? I'm not being racist. He's down low, but I'm out of his range right now. So I'm, see, there he is. There he is. I'm very surprised that shot didn't hit, but also not really. That was horrible. Anyway, um, also a little detail. Um, I should be, um, by the way, in the next couple days, I should not be uploading or anything because I should be busy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tournament for Fortnite. Uh, this is one of my two tournaments I'm doing lately, and this is a two-month kind of tournament. It's one of those I don't know how these shots can hit. This is a this is a kind of tournament. It's sponsored by Logitech Gaming, which is, for those who don't know, they make mouses, computers, uh, I don't think they make computers. They make keyboards and mouses mainly. Like, um, keyboards and mouses. I don't, personally, I have a Logitech mouse. I don't know what kind of mouse it is, honestly. I don't know. But, um, I like Logitech and I like their, their stuff. So I figured it would be kind of fun to sponsor myself in a tournament. Me and my brother are going to play with my friend Austin and his friend, uh, Edward, I think his name is. Um, so yeah, that's something we wanted to do. I just want to tell you that, guys. Um, I should be doing that soon. So... If I don't upload whenever this... I, I, I say tomorrow as in the next day of this recording. I'm recording this on... Is this the 13th? I, yeah, today is the 13th. Uh, bodied him. Uh, I say the 13th. He has a heavy sniper. And I'm going to demonstrate the new rifle here. Um, but this rifle, honestly, I feel like it doesn't really truly make up for... That was a lag. I feel like this honestly doesn't make up for the fact that the... Uh, that the... Uh, the, the drum gun's gone. They took a great gun out and put a new great gun in, which doesn't make up for it all the way, but it kind of helps make up for it a little bit. This was a stupid play. He died to the storm. And at one point here in a minute, I go and try to check him, uh, try to check his loot. There's a guy behind the rock right here, right, as you see him. But he was, a, he was a rogue agent, and I think he killed that other kid. But uh, by this point, there are only four players left. But uh, I like to point out that this is indeed a game that that was a terrible thing to, to try to do. This was not. I like this one. New rifle, baby. <laughs> and uh, I had a gold double barrel. I mean, uh, I don't. I like the double barrel. It's a lot of fun. But uh, I took them both at this time. I, I I realize now I should go back for the big blue. I think I do actually. Yeah, I, I go out there and I start taking a lot of damage. I'm like, nope. I <laughs> turn this around. Because uh, I usually can do that later, and I, I have to use a make it now because I'm stupid. That's how it went. But anyway, yeah, um, this gun is really good. I don't know, honestly, how I feel about it replacing. It's not really replacing the scar, but it is definitely going to be really good. Uh, actually, let me go back to what I was talking about earlier. I was talking about um, my choices during streams and games. And what I mean by that is, like... Uh, I, I should go back and grab that big instead of the slurp. Actually, I think, yeah, I do that. <clears throat> uh, I go back and grab the uh, big juice here. Um, I also would like to point out that I, when I'm streaming and playing and recording, <coughs> oh, wow, both of them are on the, are on the same thing. By the way, uh, the reason I built up so high here is because, one, I didn't realize that the zone was already here, but I was building up really high because I... Uh, uh, I realized I had to go now, and I just blew through like half my maps to do that. But um, yeah, um, I was gonna do build up really high and try to get a bit of my advantage back because I was in this dome, and domes like it's really hard to lose da take damage in the dome. You can't take fall damage in, uh, when you're in the zone at all because if you impulse like uh, if you throw an impulse above you and jump and then just go straight down, yeah. Um, so yeah, I just want to point that out. But during streams, usually when I see a purple scar over like a gold burst, I'll usually pick the scar, you know? That's how it usually goes. Um, that's just how I play, my perspective on the game. This kid was annoying, by the way. Like, I, I labeled this, uh, I named this uh, recording after, uh, oh, that's a new change! The, uh, the story damage to the uh, actual game here. At this point, by the way, I just panicked and didn't know what to do because uh, I'm on controller and this kid was probably keyboarding. And this kid practices a lot. I know he does. Try that. That didn't work. Try that. That didn't work. But you'll see me make a lot of choices. And honestly, most of my choices are based on just my perspective. But a couple are based on my, 
like definitive how I feel about the game. Uh, like what what kind of situation I'm in. It's very div. I wish it would show how much shield I have. It really doesn't. Hold on. See if there's a way to do that. Um. Nameplates. There. Perfect. Um. Nameplate distance. I don't. I don't know. Sure. There. Uh, let's try this. So you can see how much health he has. He has full health. I have. I'm only missing a couple. I take a slurp juice. It doesn't look like it. Okay, now he has a lot less. I hit him for like 95 there, because you can see it by based on the thing. Uh, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna have to sacrifice some health to the zone here, but it's worth it because I'm awful at this game and I needed to get him dead. I should have shot there, but I didn't have my shotgun out and got delayed on the shotgun, which was really annoying. This kid missed his double barrel shot, and it was really funny because he's horrible. Uh, I like to point out there's a difference between sweaty players and good players. This was not done on accident. I threw all those down on purpose this time. Boom, he's dead. Uh, by the way, I have three health now. <laughs> I have like three. So uh, I like to point out, thank you guys for watching this video. This was a very, very, very different one. This was the same game I played. If you want to see this game again with better com and commentary, uh, I will leave the description. I will leave the link in the description to go watch that video. It's pretty cool. Very, you'll hear me panicking. Like I, I just quiet, dead silent. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.